Right guys, so with this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like the real life scenario where we sometimes have to use a flexible pan connector. It's perfectly fine. Do not worry. Use it, but make sure you duct tape it to the soil pipe. It's the best thing to do because when you pull on it, it ends up pulling out. But watch this video. Here is an example of some duct tape that I've strapped the flexi to. Just stops the flexi being pulled out on the second fix when you're installing the pan. Right, so with this, the Allen key and the grub screw wants to land here on the outside, round about here. And as it lands there, what's going to happen is it's going to start, the grub screw is actually going to start slipping more towards the center. Because this scoop, it's almost like a wedge. Yeah? So imagine that going slipping like that. That's going to draw the pan to this wall. You'll feel it automatically as soon as you tight. If you get this wrong and your grub screw ends up direct in that center, all that's, that's all that's going to happen really. It's just going to hit there and your pan isn't going to be drawn to the wall. It's got to be drawn to the wall and you'll know that if you've hit the right spot here. And then just tighten the nuts and then the pan draws in. I've used a flexi here because the alteration on the soil pipe would have been immense. So it's perfectly acceptable to use a pan connector when you're stuck in a difficult situation. And we don't want to make life more harder than it needs to be. Nothing wrong with pan connectors, guys. Flexi pan connectors. We do get a few people who are anti, but I've been using them 14, 15 years. Never had a problem with one. You might get the odd person say it's not good because of, uh, you know, rats might chew through it. But, God, if you've got a rat problem, then you're totally stuffed because that's your wiring gone. That's all your plumbing if you've got any plastic. Yeah, so can't cover everything, you know, just for the sake of a rat. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Right, look at the way I'm struggling here, guys, in this video. Do you know why this is happening? Because I haven't left enough flexi pan connector hanging out. So there was a little bit just poking out, probably at about five inches, six inches, something like that. And look at me, I'm having to squeeze my hands and offer the pan super close up to the wall. And it's really proving difficult. So if you're going to do this, make sure you've got enough hanging out. Oh, it's hard one. Right, have a little look. So you've got to get your hands in there, two hands, put lots of lubricant on the flexi, and then just push it on, yeah? You see that in there? I've pushed that on. Right, let me put the slush. That's it. Just make sure. Right, if you're on your own, just use your legs, just to keep it propped up. Keep it pushed into the wall, and here. It's always tougher when you're using the flexi, guys. Right, struggle number two, because I was so heavily focused on the pan connector, now I've gone to tighten the grub screws, but they're actually not lining up with them holes on the pottery. So when I put the Allen key in, uh, I can't actually reach them because they're sort of in, a, in the wrong orientation. There, there. And let's put that back. 
So guys, I just want to clarify something that, you know, sometimes it goes in perfectly smoothly, but there are jobs, even at the top level, where you do struggle and you're trying to, you know, get it on and it takes about two or three attempts. But, you know, just stay composed and things will happen for you and it will go back. Use your legs to rest it, reach in, find the, the grab screw. And you should feel it draw back. If your grab screw is landing in the right place. Yeah, I can feel that pulling. Might be got one, you can still let go of the toilet. Right, the Allen key that I'm using here, it doesn't have a long leg on it. And I've I'm using a spanner here just to get some extra leverage. So if you need the extra leverage, but they should provide you with a, a decent size Allen key. This is a repair job, guys, so it's just my tools being used here. Take your feet off. Right, so toilet's on now, that was a bloody struggle. With the flexes it's a lot harder uh, on the second fix, yeah? But it saved me a massive amount of work dealing with that stack. That could have been like a day's work, yeah? So this took me a struggle of about 10 minutes. Um, I should have left the flexi a little bit longer. But like I said, you learn from more mistakes. And the other thing is as well, guys, um, make sure that you've set the pan first and then you deal with your flush button because you start messing around with the flush button thinking that's the easy part. What will happen is you'll actually push one of those pins in when you're trying to put the buttons on, all that six litres will come flooding out. Yeah, so now, so they are. So remember, flush button goes on last, guys super important just in case because if the pan is not there and you mess around with the flush button you could have all that water potentially flooding out and last thing is look at the way the flush button ends up getting covered with the lid here this is a 0.8 frame so just remember that thought i'd just share that with you this way uh, Everything is inside perfect. A dust cover on. There's no any dust in there. Let's get the flush. Configurations of the buttons are all different. Um, you'll have some sort of variation on them. Yeah. I mean, but look at how well Gebrit, you know, they, they plan and they design their buttons. Look, little rubber seal on just to reduce noise. Right, so that's that. These are for a different model. Thank you. 
thread in. Oh. 